What's up, folks? Welcome to Consumer Sherpa, your number one source on the web in the home appliance department. Today, we'll talk about heater safety for kids and how to approach the use of heaters if you have children in your home. Hit the like button, subscribe, and let's dive in. As the weather gets colder, many moms, especially young ones with less experience, want to make sure their baby is warm during the night as well. That's why they often wonder if they should put their child's bed near a heater that'll keep them warm during the night. However, such a decision is not safe and can be dangerous. Putting a crib next to a heater is not safe for three main reasons. First, the child might get too hot and overheat during the night. The child could also pull the handle, get out of the crib somehow, and get burned. Also, heaters are frequently located under windows. You can face problems with poor insulation or hidden electrical cables. In addition to accessing common issues, such as energy consumption, heating power, dimensions, design, and more when it comes to air conditioning in children's spaces, it'll be necessary to assess other aspects, perhaps less common than those offered by different heating devices. The main risks of an inadequate heating system for children are that with the use of certain heaters or radiators, children, mainly the smallest ones, can get contact burns, especially in the first years when they start walking. In the case of some furnaces, these devices can even emit toxic gases as a result of poor combustion or cause a fire if they contain some kind of flammable liquid or if they're used improperly. Heating systems without any regulation or control, such as some central heating installations, can produce excess heat in certain situations, which can dry out the environment and cause dry skin, respiratory infections, and even dehydration in rare cases. In case of chimneys, there is a risk that the burning element will pop out and cause burns if the type of protection is not used, or that it'll emit carbon monoxide if it doesn't work properly due to poor maintenance. But it is very important to point out that most of these risks can be solved painlessly. To avoid all these problems, it'll be convenient to ensure that the heating system chosen for heating the children's environment has a number of measures. Use protections on the radiator's hotspots, and even for the radiator connection pipes. Use the control and management systems of the heating device to avoid excess heat. Avoid heating devices that can emit toxic gases or that use flammable liquids for their work. In the case of portable electrical appliances, try to keep them away from children's transit zones and even out of their reach. Experts point out that it's important for the baby to stay, sleep at normal room temperature, even at night, because the chance of sudden infant death syndrome is much higher in babies when they get too hot or in children who are too drowned. Also, children's skin is four times thinner than an adult's skin, so even the slightest contact with hot surfaces can cause serious pain and scarring. We hope that this guide was helpful to you and that you've learned something new today. Stay safe!